Hey everybody, welcome back to Bearded Goblin Gaming. On today's episode, we're going to be making a drone out of a vitamin water bottle. You're going to want to take a handsaw and cut this into five sections. We're going to be using the middle three. This is some pretty thick plastic, so be careful. We'll just get those cleaned up. And go ahead and sand them down. Make that, get your edges nice and smooth. Now we're going to take some foam core board and we're going to cut six circles. These don't have to be perfectly round. We're going to be using hot glue to fill them in. So, and you're not really going to see them by the, by the end. So I've laid out a bunch of extra stuff. We got some wire caps and some wire connectors, uh, clothes pins. I just went ahead and did the top here just in case you wanted to add some LEDs and stuff but for my side supports uh, the jets and stuff like that I used some clothespins torn in half and then just added some wire connectors to each side it doesn't really matter what position you put these in because it can be doing a maneuver and it, you know, it makes it look like they're banking left or right when you get them on the base. I actually did the third one with, you can see it in the picture, it's got uh, the doubles on both sides and you're able to kick them off so it looks like it's actually doing maneuvers. Then here we go, we're using some fiberglass screen for our uh, grates and stuff. And then just some thin cardstock uh, cut and glued on. You can use super glue for this, but the hot glue gun works just fine. And I'm gluing in the bottom. I decided not to do a tea light or anything on this one. I just wanted to kind of get them done. And then just cutting squares for all your different panels. You can actually go over these with a pin or a pencil and draw you drawing even more panel lines to all your squares but you don't really need to i went on this one i took the uh a fine point and made some rivets in there but you can't really see them and here we're doing some uh armor plating over the uh, the wings and i went ahead and i took some plastic uh q-tips and made some antennas there And then just trying to figure out, we got some wooden beads we're going to add to the top of those. Give them a little bit more bulk. And later I don't show it, but I take some Q-tip, or uh, clothespins, uh, paper clips, I think of the right word, and added those for like fuel lines. And here I am just kind of playing around trying to figure out what's going to work good for the jets on the bottom I ended up not really doing anything for that I just took some more plastic um, pieces here and we're going to run those down the sides of each one and try to figure out some piping to kind of make it look a little bit better Didn't really have a plan for this whole thing. I just kind of went with whatever I had and whatever looked good. Make sure you pull off all your hot glue stringers, otherwise when you paint this, you're just going to have them hanging everywhere. Now for the front lens, I ended up using another wood bead and just put that little plastic stem in there to hold onto it and sanded it down to halfway. I didn't have any smaller plastic beads that I could use on hand, but it seemed to work out pretty good. And now we're going to move on to the main gun. 
You need to cut eight of these sticks. I don't know why I took my time trying to get them even close. I didn't get them anywhere near close and still had to sand. Okay, when you're working with super glue on this plastic, just be careful. I have it tipped, so right now super glue is running right at my finger. You can see it there. And the fumes are starting to get pretty bad, so you're going to want an open window and a fan. And you can see I didn't get them anywhere near close and I was even trying. So once you get those all done, you're just going to take a piece of cardstock again and wrap it around to help keep them all together and give it a little bit more effect. And there you can see I sanded down the tips just to smooth them out, try to figure out where it goes on the drone. And then all I did for the body of that is just a piece of insulation foam cut square. You can see here, I'm going to punch a hole in there, but if you just rotate that straw in there, it'll cut its own hole. And then I'll just hot glue gun that onto the bottom of the drone. And then just add some more cardstock panels. I'm not really measuring anything, it's all just cut and stick. Alright, so I've gone through and I've cut out even more panels for the wings and stuff there. And this is it finished. You can see I can keep focus on everything else with the, on the desk except for the drone. I went and got the other two built. The second one is pretty much an exact copy of the first one. I mean, the top looks a little bit different, but they're pretty much the same. The panels are a little different around the outside too. The third one, I went ahead and I did that double wing. And you can see on that left-hand side how they're, he's kind of making, making a maneuver with them being split. And then I increased the size of the antennas there. Well, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I know I enjoyed making these guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.